Hi, this is Al, the Spiritual Atheist, back once again. Before I get started on my second video, I would like to give a, uh, a great thanks and shout out to the folks and subscribers at uh, Atheist Hub. You guys have been really, really great. And it's really hard for me to uh, express my uh, gratitude. Thanks, a thank you. Thanks a lot. Also, I want to respond to a couple of private emails that came in uh, with complaints. One pointing out that uh, I uh, plagiarized from George Carlin, recalling my uh, original videos of uh, brain droppings. Uh, it wasn't intentional. I love George Carlin, and uh, I apologize, and I won't do it again. You're, you're, you're absolutely correct. The term really, really does belong to him. And it, uh, I, I simply should not have done that. Uh, also, I get complained about the glasses, that the reflection in the glasses doesn't allow anyone to see my eyes. I tried doing some uh, uh, few tapes without the glasses, and I, I simply can't hack it, guys. So you don't get to see my eyes, and you have to put up with the reflection, I guess. <laughs> Uh, tonight is uh, Saturday night. It's kind of late, almost midnight, uh, the uh, June 8th. This past Monday, I had some surgery done at the local hospital. And uh, in the recovery room, I was told that uh, they got the tumors out and they were called light, quote unquote. Uh, it was uh, good news. Uh, and uh, the doctor was quite confident that he got everything. The uh, next day, Tuesday, I was uh, called by the uh, off doctor's office and the uh, nurse told me that I had to come in now for the next uh, six weeks every Tuesday for uh, chemo uh, treatments. And I mentioned that maybe, you know, you could call those into my pharmacy. I could pick them up, do them at home. No, they're not oral. Oh, boy. I suppose I have to come in for some type of inject <coughs> injection. No, no, we won't be injecting you. I, at this point, I know what's happening, and I can't really resist so I said I said I suppose a suppository is just too much to hope for at which she said Al you have bladder cancer we're going to go in where you are going to destroy the lining of your bladder so that a new one will grow back and there won't be any cancer cells and there's only one way in there and uh this has been the story of my life for the last six weeks. I have had more uh, ladies paying attention to my nether regions than I could have ever, ever dreamed would happen to me at the age of 72. And it, not once has it been pleasant, uh, but necessary. It started me thinking about karma and the indifference of the universe. And I don't really see much difference between the Eastern concept of karma and the Western concept of sin. Uh, they both uh, serve uh, the same purposes. Uh, for the organization, for the religion, it gives you control over the individual by describing what will, what's good karma and bad karma. You know, like, don't uh, criticize the priesthood right around for both that's bad karma you know to criticize something bad will happen to you if you do that uh, something bad will happen to you if you steal from somebody so you know, there's this type of control and from the practitioner's point of view it's again the same thing as uh, good works or lack of sin that uh, by doing good things, uh, good things will happen to me. And the whole thing strikes me as so incredibly greedy as to be distasteful. I mean, this whole journey is, that they seem to be on is what can I get out of it? 
uh, I want a better rebirth, or I want to be born, and I want I want to live in heaven, or I want this, and I want that, and it's want, 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 and I just don't don't get it. I mean, why not just trust your own nature and relate? to the world from there without any expectations, uh, without any underhanded motivations. Uh, I don't kill people because it's not in my nature to do so. You know, if I do good for somebody, it's because I choose to do it. I'm not looking for, so if, you know, looking for something back. I don't want to go out in limbs here because somebody might cut them off. Uh, so I'm not going to use myself as an example, but I mean the, the the point the point is that goodness is its own reward. The if it if you need a reward, and I don't know why we do. And I am sometimes um, really really confused by religious people that I know and respect and love and they are tend to be still even the most conscious of them rather distastefully smug that uh, they have uh, figured the secret way out whether it is uh, by manipulating their karma or by praying or meditating or what have you, uh, guru worship, uh, my Zen master can beat up your minister. I don't know. It's all, all so greedy and so disgusting. And this is where I think I'll stop. But I'm going to do, before we stop, I'm going to ask us, uh, all the theists out there, uh, to pray with me. And it's not a prayer that I've made up. It's a Sufi prayer. But the Christians can, you know, it's just to God. So go along with it. Now, with uh, every head bowed and every eye closed and all that sort of stuff, Father in heaven, if we worship you out of a desire for paradise, please deny us it. And if we worship you, out of fear of falling into hell, please cast us into it. Amen.